Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to send WhatsApp reminder to host and client for book Calendly appointment. So here my objective is that whenever a new appointment will be booked in Calendly, automatically a reminder message should be sent to both the client as well as the host on WhatsApp. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Calendly and WhatsApp and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So Pabli Connect works on two principles, trigger and action. So in trigger, we are going to take Calendly and in action, I'm going to take WhatsApp Cloud API with the help of which I want to send WhatsApp messages with template. And now I'm going to automate this entire process by setting up a connection between these two applications without any coding or programming skills. To learn the full automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to send a reminder message on WhatsApp to both the client as well as the host of the event when a new appointment is booked in Calendly. So my objective is that whenever a new appointment will be booked in Calendly for a particular event, I want to send a reminder message before 30 minutes of the actual time of scheduled event. So here I'm going to create this automation step by step by setting up a connection between Calendly and WhatsApp and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of this amazing automation software Pabli Connect. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by typing this URL pabli.com slash connect. After coming here we can find two options sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user you can directly click on sign in but if you are a new user you have to click on the sign up for free button to create your free new account. When you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now as an existing user I am directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation we are going to use Pabli Connect so let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect where we can find all the workflows which we have created and we can also save our workflows in different folders. Okay, so you can find I have multiple folders over here. I have created them to save my workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Send reminder message on WhatsApp for Calendly appointment. Now after giving the name here, I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So I want to save this workflow in this WhatsApp marketing automation folder. Let's click on create. As we have done that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. So as I told you that Pabli Connect works on trigger and actions. So these are trigger and action. So as I already told you that Pabli Connect works on these two principles, trigger and action. So these two are the main concepts on which the entire automation runs. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose we are going to take Calendly in our trigger and WhatsApp Cloud API in our action and we want that whenever a new appointment will be scheduled in Calendly, automatically a reminder message should be sent to the client or the host on, on WhatsApp through WhatsApp Cloud API. So here our action is following what the trigger commands. So when the trigger happens, that means when the appointment is booked in Calendly, then only the reminder message is sent, otherwise not. So after understanding this concept, let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, we have to select our trigger application and that is Calendly. So let us select that and now we have to select the trigger event. So trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So invitee created user will be our trigger event over here. So whenever an invitee will be created, that means whenever a booking will be scheduled in Calendly, the response will be captured here in Pabli Connect and automatically with that response, the workflow will get trigger. Let's click on connect and now we'll go with add new connection to build a new connection with Calendly account. Now after clicking on add new connection, let's click on connect with Calendly. And here we can find that the connection is done easily and automatically. So our authorization has become successful. You can find that I was already logged into my Calendly account. Therefore, the authorization has become successful very easily. And now Calendly is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So let's move further. Here we have to select the organization name, which is already selected and the username as well. All right. So here we will simply click on save and send test request button after building the connection. And it has started showing waiting for response. That means now we have to do a test submission by booking an appointment in Calendly so that the response could be captured here in Pabli Connect. So I'm going to take you towards my Calendly account. This is the event for which I'm going to book an appointment. So this is the preview of the booking page where we have to book the appointment. Now to book an appointment, we will simply click on this view live page button and it has taken us towards the live booking page. So now I'm going to book an appointment for let's say 20th March of 10 30 a.m. And now we have to enter the details of the invitee to create the bookings. Let's say the name of the invitee is dummy 
and the last name is user. I have entered the email and now I'm going to enter the phone number. So after entering all the details, let's click on schedule event button. And the booking is scheduled for the event Pabli Connect from 10.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Wednesday, March 20, 2024 for Indian Standard Time. So now let's go back towards Pabli Connect and here we can find that we have already received the response here in Pabli Connect along with all the details. All right, the email of the invitee, the first name, last name, as well as the full name and the phone number of the invitee here along with all these details we have also received some other details that is start and the end time now we will move towards our further steps to send reminder to the client as well as to the host so here i want to send the reminder to the client as well as the host just before 30 minutes of the actual time of the meeting okay for that what i'm going to do i will apply delay over here so basically with the help of delay i'm going to delay this workflow until the time i want to send the reminder i want to send the reminder before 30 minutes of the actual time so first of all before delaying this workflow i will simply subtract 30 minutes from the actual time so for that we will move towards our next action step and we will select date time formatter over here as the action application so with the help of date time formatter we are going to format the date and we are going to subtract the date okay so here i'm going to select add or subtract track time let's click on connect so here we have to first of all enter the date which we want to format so we have already received the start date i'm going to search for the start date in my earlier response this is the start date i will simply select that and we have mapped that so mapping is inserting data from previous step we have mapped this data from our previous step that means it has become dynamic so it is going to change with each and every new response automatically okay so whenever a new booking will be made in calendly automatically the start time of the event is going to be replaced with a new start time of that new appointment after mapping the date which we want to format we have to enter the expression which we want to perform provide the amount of time you would like to add or subtract to the date negative value subtract time and positive add example plus 8 hours 1 minute plus 1 month minus 2 days i want to subtract 30 minutes from the actual date so what i'm going to do i will simply enter minus 30 so i've entered minus 30 minutes and now we have to select the format in which we want the date so here i will select this format year month date and the time Okay, done. And now it is asking us in which format we have received the date. So we have received the date in this format, year, month, date, hour, minute and seconds along with this T. So I've selected that. Now let's click on save and send test request button to check. And we can find that yes, here we have received the response and this is in the UTC format. So to delay the workflow, we have to use UTC format over there. Okay, let's click on this add action step button. And now here I'm going to select delay. So with the help of delay, now we are going to finally delay the workflow. Here we are going to select add delay time as our action event and we'll click on connect. Now we have two options, delay for and delay until. So if you want to delay a workflow for five or two minutes or for two hours, then you will select delay for option over here. But here in our case, because we want to delay this workflow until the scheduled time, but before 30 minutes. For that, what we will do, we will simply select delay until. And here we have to enter the delay date until when we want to delay this workflow so it is given that you have to enter utc format only in the date and time so so we have already formatted the date and we have also subtracted 30 minutes from the actual time so we will simply map this date which is we which we have formatted let's click on save and send test request button and here we can find that it is given that the workflow is delayed until this particular date that is 20th march 2024 4 30 in the utc format okay that means 10 o'clock so we have the appointment from 10 30 so this workflow is delayed until 10 o'clock of 20th march okay now let's click on this add action step button and because we want to send whatsapp message to both the client as well as the host we will move further so now after delaying the workflow we will move further okay so let's okay okay now here i want to add one more condition in this workflow that it might happen that an invitee can cancel the booking okay in that case i do not want to send the reminder to that invitee who has cancelled the booking so for adding that condition in our workflow we have to apply a filter so what we will do we will simply apply a filter condition over here that if in case the invitee will cancel the booking then this workflow should stop here only for that we will have to get the details of the event and the invitee from calendly let's click on this add action step button and we will simply select calendly over here in the action application once again and here the action event will be get an event okay let's click on connect and now from the given options we will go with the existing connection only as we have already built a connection with calendly account we will simply click on save and with this we can find that calendly is successfully connected with Pabli connect now we have to provide the event id so that we will be able to get the details of the event as well as the invitee so for getting this event id we will have to add one more action step over here and that will be text formatted by Pabli. 
So here you can find that we have already received the event ID in our earlier response. But this event ID is along with the URL. So we have to fetch out this event ID from this URL. For that we will split this URL. And for doing that we have to apply text formatter by Pabli over here. Let's click on text formatter. And we have to select the action event that will be split text. So we will simply split the URL and find out the ID. Let's click on connect. And now we have to select the text which we want to split. So I will simply map the URL which we have already received resource event URL. Let us select that and done. Now we have to enter the value which we want to use as a separator. Here I want to separate this entire URL with the help of this slash. So I will enter slash over here as the separator. Now I will select the segment in text as all. In the response I want all the segment of this entire URL. Let's click on save and send test request button and here we can find that we have received the response. In the response we have also received the ID. So we will simply map the ID here in event ID field of Calendly. So this is the ID. We have selected that and done. Let's click on save and send test request button. And we can find that we have received the response. In the response, when we will scroll down, it is given that the status of this particular invitee is active till now. So here you can find that we have already delayed this workflow until the scheduled time of the event, but before 30 minutes. So the workflow will check automatically. And if the invitee will be active at that point of time, then the reminder will be sent. But in case if in between the invitee has cancelled the booking, then automatically this workflow will stop here when we will apply the filter condition. So let's apply the filter condition by clicking on this add action step button. And here our action application will be filter. With the help of filter, we are going to set a condition in our workflow. Let's click on this action event button and we will select filter values. Let's click on connect. And now we have to select a condition over here. So the condition will be that if in case the status of the invitee will be equal to active, then this workflow should continue and the reminder message should be sent to the invitee, otherwise not. So the label of this condition is resource status active and we will simply select filter type that will be equal to. So if the resource status will be equal to active, then the workflow should continue, otherwise it should stop. So let's click on save and send test request button to check the condition and here we can find that the condition is true. But in case if a specific invitee has cancelled the booking before the scheduled time of the booking, then in that case, because here we have mapped the status from our previous response, the resource status will be cancelled and it will be not equal to act. Then the workflow will stop automatically here in this step only. Okay, so because the condition is true, let's move towards our final action step to send reminder message on WhatsApp. First of all, you will send the reminder message to the client and then we will send it to the host as well. Now here to send WhatsApp message, I want to use WhatsApp Cloud API. So we will simply select WhatsApp Cloud API here in the action application. WhatsApp Cloud API has the official access of WhatsApp API. Okay, now here I'm going to select action event that will be send text message. I want to send a simple text message for the reminder. In case if you want to send a template message, then you can also go for selecting send template message. Okay, let's click on connect. Now from the given options, I'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with WhatsApp Cloud API account. And here we have to enter three details, token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. To find all these details, you have to first of all set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account and then you will find all these details under Meta for developers. So this is app dashboard of WhatsApp Cloud API under Meta for developers. Now from the left side, we can find the option of API setup. Here we will find all the details. So first of all, let us copy this token. We will paste it over here. The next is phone number ID. Let's copy the phone number ID as well. And we will paste it over here and at last we will copy the business account id as well let's paste it over here and done in the same manner you have to find all the details let's click on save and we can find that whatsapp cloud api account is successfully connected with public connect now we have to enter the phone number to whom we want to send the message and the message which we want to send so here we want to send this message to the invitee let's simply map the phone number of the invitee and now we will enter the message which we want to send so i want to send the message as dear now I will simply map the name of the invitee dummy user so that it will be changed each time and we are going to send the reminder message to each and every invitee but in the customized format. So this is the message which I want to send. Dear dummy user, this is a friendly reminder of your upcoming appointment scheduled today for this particular event. I have mapped the event name so that it could be changed each time. Now the next is we are looking forward to seeing you just in 30 minutes. If you have any questions or need to reschedule, please let us know. Best regards. Okay. Here this will be the message. Let's click on save and send test request button. But, be but before that, because this is a dummy phone number which I have used while booking an appointment in Calendly. Therefore, to send a real message, I'm going to enter a real phone number over here. And now we'll click on save and send test request button. As we have done that, we can find that here we have received the response. Okay, now let's move further. And now the next step will be to send the message to the host as well. Let's click on this add action step button. And here our action application will be once again WhatsApp Cloud API. 
Now let's quickly select action event that will be send text message and we will click on connect. Now I will go with the existing connection only as I've already built a connection with WhatsApp Cloud API account. Once again, we have to enter the mobile number and the message. So this time I'm going to enter my phone number only as I want to send this reminder message to the host that is me. Okay, now here will be the message to the host. So this will be the message for the host. Hello, just a quick reminder that your appointment for the event is scheduled for today in 30 minutes. Okay, so we have entered the message. Now let's click on save and send test request button. Okay and here we can find that we have received the response okay now let's go and check whether we have received both the messages for the client as well as the host on the number which we have entered over here and because i've entered only one number that is mine so i'm going to receive the reminder message for both client as well as for the host and now because we have created this workflow this will be the test response which we are going to receive on the whatsapp whenever a new booking will be made for a particular event in talently automatically this workflow is going to trigger but it will be delayed until the actual time of the scheduled meeting and before 30 minutes of that meeting automatically the reminder message will be sent to the client as well as to me that is the host okay so in this way you can very easily create this automation by setting up a simple integration between Calendly and WhatsApp and with this you will be able to automatically send reminder message to the clients for the scheduled bookings in Calendly okay and you will be able to get the reminder messages for yourself also to be on time now let's go on WhatsApp and check whether we have received the message or not and yes, here we can find that we have received both the messages for the client as well as for the host. This means that our workflow is perfectly successful. Okay, so this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.